So there are five candidates. There are two town council position seats to fill. Three of them of the five candidates are for the removal of a landfill just outside of the city. Um, the same candidate cannot fill both seats. Okay, so in letter A, we want to know the probability that a randomly chosen candidate is for the removal of the landfill. So we'll let F equal for removal, and thus F bar will be not for removal. Okay, so the probability that somebody is for removal, well, there are five candidates. Of them, three are for the removal of it, so there's a three-fifths chance. In letter B, given that one of the positions is filled with a candidate in favor, so given that it's filled with a candidate in favor, we'll call that uh, um, seat one, with this I'll put a little subscript down there, what is the probability that the second candidate chosen is also in favor? Okay, well if the first candidate chosen was already chosen, that means there are four people left to choose from. Since the person chosen was one of the candidates in favor, well now there are only two candidates left um, who are also in favor. So there are two out of four people left who are in favor of the removal of the landfill. In letter C, what is the probability that two candidates in favor of the, of, of the landfill removal are chosen? Okay, well, so we want to know basically if the first and second people are both in favor of the removal. Well, so we want probability of F1 and F2. Okay, well first that starts off with the probability of F1, the probability that you choose a person uh, who's in favor, times the probability that you choose a second person who's in favor, given that one of those people has already been selected. So we actually know these numbers. They are a three-fifths chance for the first round, times a two-fourths chance for the second round, and that gives us a total of six twentieths, or if you reduce that, you could do three-tenths, so a 30% chance. Letter D, we want to know what is the probability that, that only one seat is filled by a candidate in favor of the landfill removal? Well, this is where it could be tricky, because what do we mean by only one seat? Well, that could be the first seat, it could be the second seat. So I think it's helpful sometimes to either draw or, uh, draw a little two-by-two two table with maybe um, candidate one, candidate two, and then the possibilities, uh, um, favor, not favor, favor, not favor. But I'm going to build a little tree, so I'm going to say, um, okay, so here is either first, option, first candidate can be in favor or not in favor. Um, if the first candidate is in favor, then the second candidate can be in favor given that the first candidate was in favor. Similarly, given that the first candidate was in favor of this guy, um, the second candidate may not be in favor. That's a possibility. Given that the first candidate was not in favor, well, you still have the po same possible outcomes. The second candidate may be in favor, he may not be. By the way, it's just the same thing to write F, F bar, F, F bar. You don't necessarily need the conditional part. That just emphasizes that it's conditional upon the first person having been selected. So we know that, that in this case, there's a three-fifths chance that you're in favor, um, two-fifths chance not in favor. Well, again, going if you're, the first candidate is in favor, the likelihood that the second is also in favor is two out of four. Four candidates left two of them who can still vote in favor. Well, there are, to begin with, we didn't remove any of the candidates not in favor, so there are still two left, but we've chosen a person who is in favor, so that also comes out two-fourths. Okay, well, if the first person chosen was not in favor, that means there are four people left. What is the probability that the second person is in favor? Well, there are still two of those um, characters left in the um, left over. Excuse me, three of those characters still left over. The th none of those have been chosen, so there are still three out of four people who can vote in favor. Well, given that um, the first person did not vote in favor, that still leaves um, uh, one person who can vote in favor. So this comes out to, if you multiply the probabilities, 6 twentieths, uh, 6 twentieths, 6 twentieths, and uh, 2 
And these probabilities add up to 1, if you notice. You get 6 plus 6 plus 6 is 18, plus 2 is 20. So you do get 20 twentieths, and it sums up to a probability of, of 100%. <clears throat> well, in let, letter D makes it a little bit easier to answer because now we want to know the probability that only one seat is filled by a candidate in favor. Okay, well, if only one is filled, that means either the first is filled by a, uh, the first is in favor, the second is not, or the first is not and the second is. So that's this possible route. And that's 6 out of 20 times. So you want to know that uh, 6 out of 20 plus, because this is a distinct event, we want one or the other, the probability that the first one doesn't vote in favor and the probability that the second one does, which is 6 twentieths. So 12 out of 20 times, or that comes out to 6 tenths, divide that by 2, you get 3 fifths. So 3 out of 5 times, you will get into a situation in which one of the two candidate is, candidates is in favor. Um, finally, what is the probability that at least one seat is filled by a candidate in favor of the landfill removal? So that means either one or more uh, are in favor. So the probability that the number in favor is greater than or equal to one. Well, that can either be one person's in favor or both are in favor. To be both in, um, one in favor, we already know that probability is six out of 20 plus six out of 20. The reason I'm writing it out again is because they're all in 20ths. And the probability where they both are in favor uh, would be the other time here, which is six out of 20 which constitutes a total of 18 out of 20, which is equal to 9 tenths, or 90%. You'll also notice that um, rather than to do that, according to an earlier formula, we could just do um, the probability of number in favor greater than or equal to 1 is equal to 1 minus the probability that neither are in favor. So the probability that the first person is in in favor and the second person is not in favor. Well, we could easily go back to our table um, and find that value, which is basically 2 out of 20 times. Okay, well 1 minus 2 out of 20 is the same thing as 20 over 20 minus 2 over 20, which is 18 twentieths which is the exact same thing that we get if we were to do it the other way around, um, just by adding up all the events that we do want. 